Okay, welcome back to Thunderscape. Last time, uh, we picked up some uh, new weapons, <clears throat> including this Predis Katana for our friend Gogkar, and the Blood Staff for Philo. And we also picked some couple of useful keys. So, let us not continue exploring these troll caves. Um, oh, there's some more trolls in there. Let's just get back to our old combat routines over here. Yeah. Yeah, Delias is still hitting very well with his skull splitter. Of course, Bird with his massive, massive, mighty blows. Yeah, as you can see, the <clears throat> these trolls. They're not a very big problem for us anymore. We can fairly easily now take out trolls. Um, uh, yeah, this little pit over there. Uh, kind of want to go down to that pit, but at the same time this might also kill the entire team, so... Yeah... Yeah, that's what happens. So... It's also part of those... Acceleration issues. Maybe I need to... Slow down the cycles a little bit. Yeah, it's about 10% cycles, so... Now we're actually able to just kind of drop down to this pit without instantly killing every single member. Oh yes, this is definitely the place where I want to be. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we're fighting this mantis creature, so I have to change the combat strategy a little bit. <clears throat> oh yeah, those sounds they are <laughs> a little bit on the annoying side. I could turn off the soundtrack, the sound effects. Yeah. Let's turn off the sound effects for now. Maybe we don't need to listen to this screeching sound every time we... Every time a mantis takes a hit. Yeah, yeah there is actually a reason why I want to come here. And it is... And that is not there. To fight these mantis creatures. They're mainly just annoyance which is in the way. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we seem to be able to take about one of them per round. Oh, scroll of Acid Arrow. Yeah, definitely want to take that. But then, this is sort of the main thing I was after. It's called Dancer's Amulet. And what does the Dancer's Amulet do? Well, if we give it to Turok, we can see that it not only does it boost your martial arts by 20 points, also gives uh, 
15 points to your acrobatics. Very handy item to get. Let's see. I think this is the. No. Uh, I have to admit these troll caves, they are a little bit confusing. Even for a, a veteran Thunderscape player like me. Oh, made it. Uh, just to fight some more mantises. Of course now the game sounds are almost completely silent. Let's give Gonkard that round shield. The Morning Star. Uh, I think this is actually even better than the Flare or the Mace. Even though there's nothing inherently special about it. It's not a magical item. Yeah, this is actually where we wanted to go. Um, I mean, now one of the keys that we actually picked up in the last episode is that uh, it actually opens these gates. So it was necessary to go there to pick the keys. And now... I mean, I, I would turn on the sound effects again, but there's still going to be more m mantises along the way. So. Well, alright, let's turn on the sound effects for now. Oh. Uh. Yeah, Delias can try to do a mighty blow. And bird as well. Hmm, we already made it to level 7. Gonkar. Ah, uh, yeah, let's just invest everything in the sword skill. And, uh,. Mm, yes, he secrets everything. Uh, a sleep spell, sure. Mm, fencing, yeah, everything. For now, cast spells, couple of points, and then lock picking, couple of points. And uh, armor, sure. <sighs> Plenty of trolls in here <coughs> in this room. Yeah, there's a little ramp leading there, but but there's something I want to take here first. I guess I'll flip the switch and it kind of raises this uh, <coughs> these chairs uh, stairs. And up on the reach, you find another switch. You flip that, backtrack here, and you can find that it opens a little, like a secret door in here. A refreshing mist rises from the pool.
Yeah, so there's a, a he yet another healing fountain in here. And gems. Yeah, let's take everything. Um, yeah, how much gold do we have right now? Four and a half thousand. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, I'm sure at some point we'll, we'll still backtrack to the shop. Maybe after... Maybe after finishing the troll caves, we'll backtrack to the shop just to get rid of all the loot we find here. Maybe get some better gear. But for now, we'll still continue exploring the troll caves. And Elias. Sure, a couple of points to shield, why not? And yeah, as many points as we can just throw into cast spells. Although I do actually want to kind of round this Xenology to 60. Just to get a nice even number. Uh, Acid Bolt, sure. Philo levels up. And again, she gets 19 skill points. I mean, her high dexterity and then high intelligence, they are really kind of paying off here. Oh, she's already getting her pole arm skill to 135. Now, the thing is that once her skill reaches 150, what that actually means is that she's going to get an additional attack, and which is true for all the weapon skills. So, for every 150 points you have in that skill, your character gains a new attack, an extra attack. And um, the, only, uh, the only difference, or the only exception being the martial arts skill where every 75 points will grant you an extra attack. So or at 75, a martial artist will have two attacks. At 150, he already has three attacks and so forth. So and that's kind of the one of the strengths of martial arts skill is that even though those individual attacks they don't do let's say all that much damage but a martial artist will gain just so many attacks especially with those higher skill levels they have just so many attacks that it, it all adds up And okay, and okay, this time only seven points to those non combat skills. But 150 is already starting to be pretty high. And in fact, with that cast spell skill, is that once you kind of reach skill level 200, all the spells that are available in the game will already be unlocked by that time. So it's only 50 more points before Philo is able to learn every single spell in the game. Um, you know what, I think we could actually go for more offensive magic. I think last time he took the fireball spell, so maybe going for lightning bolt. Or Actually, let's take the magical barrier. It's also a pretty nice buff to have. A little bit of extra protection for everyone. <clears throat> okay, we'll level up. Let's see. Try to find that little ramp, this one, yeah. That Now, as I recall, this is not actually necessary to come here, but uh, there's going to be at least some extra loot this way, so we'll oh, jump. Made it. 
Fortunately, we made it. Yeah, just clear out the rubble. We have to do another jump. Only to be intercepted by these mantises. Oh. Oh. I, uh, I forgot to turn off the sound effects. Oh. Well, I will do that after this fight. Oh. Yeah, I... I tried to catch an opportunity there, but unfortunately I, I re-entered combat before I could actually come to this options menu. Well, oh yeah, and he's been poisoned, so he'll just use one of his simple cure poison spells to remove Remove the poison damage. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. Oh. Uh, a wet, musty smell pervades the cavern. Oh, yeah. And now we actually. We have the sound effects turned off, so. This mantis is that we are about to face here fortunately they're not gonna make the annoying sound effects now okay Conquer is now poisoned Philo is poisoned let's cast the eight spell this time because that's going to that's going to remove both poisons in a single go. Not to mention heal a little bit. So yeah, the aid spell is definitely... It's quite possibly one of the most useful spells in the game. I mean, just for healing damage, of course, the normal heal spell is more, let's say, cost-effective, but... The 8 spell just has so much more uses, so, so much more versatile. <clears throat> the cavern opens up before you with ancient flowstone formations, the chilled air carrying hints of ghostly aura. Yeah, more mantises. Just try to get rid of them. And here is a magical stone. The stone radiates an aura of magic and has a glyph etched on, which means lifeblood. <laughs> okay, so... Now, in Thunderscape, throughout the game, you will occasionally find these kinds of magical items. And... Basically, what these items do is that whenever you use the item, it will cast a spell. And this particular item casts the heal spell. Now, unlike a spell scroll, it's not going to immediately erase the item from your inventory. But rather, it serves as a kind of a storage for multiple castings of a particular spell so it does have a limited amount of uses uh, but nevertheless you know it's it's basically you have multiple castings of a spell with you with these items and a short bow let's give Theros the short bow and Continue exploring this little cave, fighting these mantises. 
Mm. Yeah, this time just for the sake of doing something different, casting the normal cure poison spell on Philo. Yeah. Well, I have to admit that when the sound effects are turned off, uh, fighting these mantises isn't as nearly as annoying as fighting with the sounds on. Now you might be wondering where the where the um where the game music is. Now like why isn't the game music playing? And I'm not entirely sure. I mean this is actually it, this game is actually being played from the original game C D that I have from the nineties. And so, uh, I think the music files, they really should be there. But for some reason, I don't know why, it just refuses to launch the music. So the music isn't playing. Uh, Mysteries of Life. Oh, yeah, I for forgot to mention a little actually little pouch, a little blue bag that we just picked. That one's also one of those <clears throat> magical items that I mentioned that have these, let's say, multiple castings of a spell stored into them. And there, this little blue pouch, this is called a fairy dust pouch. And basically this one has multiple castings of the sleep spell in it. Yeah. More and more and more of this mantises, but... It's just... Pretty much any time I play this game and I come to these troll caves, I do... Uh, I do like to actually explore the area, like basically do a uh, full sweep of the area. That's why. That's also the reasons why I come to this this little section of the dungeon. It's not necessary to come here. I mean, we already have all the necessary keys to proceed to the. Um, Like, let's say, proceed with the game. But it is just fun to explore places, mm. take all the loot, and of course, this is, it's just, it is still about, and it is at least also a way to kind of grind experience points. You get more levels. When you get more levels, you get obviously more skills and hit points and everything, all the good stuff. Uh, wait. Oh, wait a second. No. I think I just. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's um. Let's make a save before we try to make this jump. In fact, let's just try to drop down. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I'm actually now pretty sure we're not going to face any more mantises, so I'll just switch on the sound effects. And, in fact, make the Elias do a mighty blow again. Oh. Oh, and also, let's also make Bird do those mighty blows. Yeah, 78 points of damage from just that single hit. Mm. Scraps of rubbish are scattered about the cavern. In the distance, you hear something large shifting in its sleep. Mm, more trolls. <coughs> You know what? I think I kind of miss Philo being able to do those mighty blows, so let's just switch uh, his weapon back to this normal, well, quote and unquote, normal magical staff. I mean, these trolls, they aren't poisonous, so. Ah, oh, yes, mighty blow. And Theros, yeah, just put everything to... Oh, wait, no. Spell casting, yes. Ah, dispel, I guess. And even more of these uh, fountains and jewels, gems. <clears throat> Druk's chest key. Yeah, we'll definitely want to pick up this key. Druk, of course, referring to King Druk, the King of Trolls. Yeah, I think trolls really aren't any problem for us anymore. We're just killing them left and right. Uh -huh. Amid the other treasure, you find a strangely textured scroll. The mere touch of it, which creates a foreboding sense of evil. Conquer puts Druk's contract. Yeah, we found a scroll. Druk's contract. Let's try to read it. <clears throat> the scroll is made of extremely supple leather or some other treated skin, which radiates an eerie sense of power. You can read little of the scroll's arcane words and runic lettering, but you read enough to see that it is a pact between King Droog and a nocturnal referred to merely as the Dark One. In it, King Droog is granted immortality and other magical abilities in exchange for opening the way for the Dark One's forces to enter Vanguard Keep through a forgotten entrance in the dungeons. Evil, in return, 
for the placus treachery. What else King Drug paid for his new farm power is unknown, but the cryptic symbols at the bottom of the scroll make it clear that he is now a slave to the powers of the Darkfall, subject to the binding words of this pact. Binding words of this pack. The coals burn warmly in the brazier. Really? Hot coals, you say? Paper, you say? I wonder what would happen if we were to, oh, I don't know, toss the contract into the fire. Green flames erupt from the brazier as you throw King Druk's contract onto the coals. Oh, I'm sure that didn't do anything. I'm sure that didn't have any significance. I don't know. You know what, let's drink some. Drink some water to heal ourselves. Oh, and uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's time that we start to actually cast some spells. Hasting, Conquer, Delias, Philo, himself, Turok, Ther uh, Theros, Bert. And yeah, we and we have just enough to cast the magic barrier as well. So that's a little magical puffs to boost our party. Let's make a save and let's press on. Let's see, we have a fairy dust pouch. Lightning bolt scroll, acid arrow, breathe fire, scroll. Oh, she can do those faint attacks. Okay, let's press on. There's a little switch in here. What happens if we flip the switch? Scratch onto the metal plate is an inscription which reads Unless death is what you seek, the proper words must you speak. Do you pull the lever or not? Yeah, let's do it. What do you say? <clears throat> well, the last episode, you may remember that we found a, that little note titled Password Note. And what was the word in that note? Do you remember? It was... Maleficent. King Droog's blood rimmed eyes glare at you with soulless hate as you appear at the top of the elevator. He motions his guards to attack. And King Droog is actually this guy over here in the back. So if we kind of uh, Use our genealogy skill to identify him. We get some statistics from him. King Druk, hit points, 250 out of 500. So that's at least one of the things that Burning the Contract did, was that it effectively halved his hit points. And I am not entirely sure... If it has any other uh, other effects other than just dropping the hit points, but hmm. at least I assume that it might also maybe have some impact on his magical powers as well. Yeah, and if you actually highlight an enemy like that, and you. Uh, do a left click you can actually target the enemy so it specifically orders the 
characters to attack, like focus their attacks on a particular enemy. And you can do this with each character. The thundering sounds. Yes, you can see this haste spell allows us to attack more times, so even Philo just did two attacks there. Conquer that for oh King Druk is ouch casting fireball spells at us. So we all take hits from the fireball spell. Oh yeah. Bert, you're a champion. He just killed King Druk. Delias one mighty blow connects. Only, only these uh, god trolls are left. So they should be you no know, easy pickings from now on. Yeah, I can really see the effects of the haste spell when now everybody in our team can attack at least two times. And Gonkar, who's dual wielding weapons, I think he attacks four times. Two times with both weapons. One, two, three, yeah, four times. Bird, come on, Bird. Take him out, take... Oh, 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 yes. With that, we got enough experience to gain the next level. Yeah, just push short skill to even higher levels. See secret... Uh, yeah, see secrets, why not? Uh, flash, sure. Delias... Two points to shield and the rest in X and Maze. Yeah, just put all the points to cast spells. Well, I think at skill 90 you get access to slow spell, so... Uh, yeah, let's put everything into pole arms. 151. So now he already does two... Philo already does two attacks with his staff and add to that the haste spell he can now attack three times which is pretty good and yeah and again intelligence 20 and you got 20 points for 20 points to put in here and lightning bolt I guess yeah lightning bolt it's a, it's a good solid spell to have To rock, uh, maybe four points to acrobatics, uh, martial arts, maybe firearms a little bit, or stealth. Yeah, let's, let's put a little bit to stealth, why not, actually. And then fencing, cast spells, pick locks, yeah. Mystic net bird seven points. That's actually pretty good for a bird to get five seven points to your weapon skills. Uh, mana bolt. Okay, the big boss defeated. That's time to loot all the normal or the guard trolls they were. They use spike clubs and then King Druk was wielding a war hammer. Bastard sword. Smithy's Ember. We'll give this one to... Okay, Gonkar. This amulet... Uh, the, basically, it gives you a little higher resistance to fire fire damage as I recall 
all a bike, which is a pretty good quality pole arm. And thousand coins, cure poison, and I think some money and five hundred coins. Yeah, I think that big victory over here definitely deserves a big save. And um, you know what? Let's backtrack a little bit. We did take some damage during the fight, and seeing as there's this healing fountain right at the base of the elevator, so why not take that? And maybe some. Just collect some of these clubs. Oh. Take the gloves. I and mean, again, they're not very valuable, but I do actually now plan to head back to the shop and before kind of moving on and going to the next major area in the game. But I think for now, what we'll do is we'll just we'll save. And I think that's enough for this time. Next time when we continue, we'll, we'll backtrack to the shop, do some last minute shopping, sell off some of this stuff, maybe see if we can buy some better equipment, maybe upgrade, um, upgrade our weapons or armor. And then, then we'll move on to the next area, which is the Vanguard Keep. It's one of the sort of major locations in the game. Okay, so... Okay, so I think this is enough for now, so goodbye.